Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is BC Plays here, and today we are on the crew two, and we are testing out the KTM 450. But it is a street racing vehicle instead. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new, as it does help out the channel. But yeah, today we are testing out a motocross bike or a dirt bike but it is a street racing vehicle and as you can see it comes in at a small price of 39,200 crew bucks at, or um, 5,600 crew credit so this vehicle is very very cheap Oh, them rims are different and we're gonna put them on but yeah 39,000 isn't um, it's not gonna be good is it for 39,200 crew bucks we all know that but you know, we may as well test it out and see. Customization, let's get into it, but there won't be any, I don't think. Or I was wrong. We have three uh, front lights to choose from. And I do like that one there. We have two front fenders. I do prefer the uh, the longer one there. We have two seats. I prefer that one though. Two fairings. We'll stick with the orange. Uh, we'll stick with them rims as well. We have four exhausts. Ooh. Okay, we're going to go for the carbon there, and that is all we have for customization. but I was not expecting any customization really at all, so that is not too bad, and I think we're going to keep with the orange to match the rims, but that is all for the customization. You can obviously change liveries and vanity items as well, but let's get straight into the performance part of this vehicle. And it is a base level 65, uh, 65 out of 2, uh, 280, and has a top speed of 123 miles per hour. Horsepower, we don't know, but probably like, what? Something really small, like 20 or something. By the looks of it, really, really small. Um, well, low horsepower, but with all the parts on, this thing has a top speed of 195 horsepower. It has 145 um Wait, did I say 195 miles per hour, 145 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, call to mile in 10.03 seconds, and brake distance 60 to 0 is 26.84 yards. I am absolutely a mess right now, but let's test out this vehicle and I'll see you there in a second. Here we are in Vegas, and let's test out this uh, motorbike. I have not actually driven a motorbike in a very long time since I think doing like a motocross event a couple episodes ago but actually in an event properly I have not tested one out in a very long time so let's see if I can still um, drive one of these vehicles but it does feel like just driving there it did feel like a, a motocross vehicle and it does sound like one as well I might actually be a it might actually be a motocross vehicle you can't turn, I'll tell you that. Cheers for the boost, mate. <laughs> but you can't turn awfully well. That's what I was hoping for, because I knew the speed was not going to be on my side at all. Uh, it's not the greatest in the world. It's not the greatest handling in the world. But it still turns, just about. Because I was, you know, expecting this thing to be quite slow. I mean, it is quite slow, but it still feels fast for some reason. We are seven seconds ahead as well. Almost span out there. But no, this thing is actually putting in a bit of a shift. I won't lie. It's doing pretty well. We are nine seconds ahead now. And this thing is going. I think this thing will be very good in events where there's lots of turns because obviously the momentum of the faster cars behind you isn't. Um, well, that's insane. But. This bike doesn't have much momentum because the speed isn't at all anywhere near the uh, the Ace AI. So I think handling of this thing is definitely very good and it needs to be good because that's the only way to win events otherwise because if it has bad handling, yeah, it just won't compete at all. But considering for 30,000 crew bucks, it is not a bad vehicle and you can easily win events and I was just crashing into a tree but yeah you can easily win events and it is 
a decent vehicle. I won't lie, it is a very decent vehicle. So out of 10, what I'm going to give this vehicle, I am going to give this vehicle based on the price. Um, I mean, you can't really go wrong for 30,000 crew bucks. Literally, I pretty much just earned that from one race. So literally, you complete two of these events, you will get your money back. So if you don't like it, it's not that much of a big deal. But I'm going to give it a 7.8 out of 10. Obviously not the best vehicle in the world, but for the price, you cannot go wrong. And um, it had a bit of customization as well. So overall, not a bad vehicle. And obviously, if you have used this vehicle, tell me what you think of it down below in the comment section. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next video.